Hello, in this video I'm going to introduce you to a method of solving differential equations by using something called the integrating factor. Now I'll timestamp the different parts of this video below, so if you just want to skip through to an exam question at the end, then you can. So we're going to be using this integrating factor if we have a differential equation of this form here, where we have our derivative dy by dx plus some function of x p of x multiplied by y, and that's equal to some other function of x q of x. So if you see a differential equation in this form here, then you're going to probably want to use the integrating factor. And an example actually of a differential equation that would take this form would be say dy by dx subtract 3y equals say e to the power of 4x. And in this example here we have the function p of x being equal to negative 3 and our function q of x being equal to e to the power of 4x. And I'm actually going to solve this differential equation later on in the video. So what is this integrating factor then? Because at the minute we've just been looking at differential equations. So the integrating factor, which we could write as say i of x like this, a function of x, is equal to e to the power of an integral of p of x with respect to x. And that there is our integrating factor. Now at the minute, what is that useful for? Well, we'll see, right? So what we do is we calculate this integrating factor, which is just gonna be some function of x because p of x is also a function of x. So we calculate this integrating factor, and then we multiply each term in our differential equation by this integrating factor. And if we do that, well, what will we get? We'll get e to the power of the integral of p of x with respect to x multiplied by dy by dx, plus e to the integral of p of x with respect to x multiplied by some the function p of x multiplied by y and that's going to be equal to e to the integral of p of x with respect to x multiplied by the function q of x. So it kind of looks like we've made this differential equation look a whole lot worse right but in reality we've actually done sort of a bit of like manipulation to make uh, make it easier because the left hand side of this equation now looks very much like the product rule okay and to help you see that let's take a look at the function i again so we've got the function i equal to e to the integral of p of x with respect to x so the derivative di by dx well that's going to be equal to and we could calculate this using the chain rule so we could say well i is equal to e to the u and our function u is equal to the integral of p of x with respect to x the derivative of i is just e to the whoops the derivative of i is just e to the u and the derivative of u is just, well, we're differentiating an integral, so they're gonna kind of cancel out, and we just get p of x. And so multiplying the derivative of i with the derivative of u, we're gonna get a derivative of i with respect to x equal to p of x multiplied by e to the integral of p of x with respect to x. Okay, and the reason I've shown you that is just so you know where that's coming from. And also because now, if we take a look at this left-hand side of our equation, well, that's gonna be the same as the derivative, so d by dx, of our integrating factor, e to the integral of p of x with respect to x, multiplied by y, okay? And we can check that by using um, our implicit differentiation and the product rule. And so we're gonna take our function e to the integral of p of x with respect to x, multiplied by the derivative of y. Well, that relates to this part here. And then we're going to add on to that, so let me get rid of all these highlights, we're going to add on to that, well, the function y, which is there, multiplied by the derivative of e to the integral of p of x with respect to x, which we said was equal to that part there, okay? And so you can see we could rewrite the left-hand side of this equation like so. And so now what we can do is, now we've written it in this nice form, let me write down the left-hand side too, so p of x with respect to x, q of x is we can take the integral of both sides of this equation. Okay, so let's now integrate the derivative with respect to x of e to the integral of p of x with respect to x, y, okay, with respect to x. And that's gonna be equal to the integral of e to the integral of p of x with respect to x, q of x. So, with respect to x, there we go. So what is the integral of the left-hand side? Well, we're taking the integral of a derivative, so it's just gonna be equal to whatever is in the brackets. So it's gonna be equal to e to the integral of p of x with respect to x, y. And that's gonna be equal to, well, whatever this integral over here on the left-hand side is. So the integral of e to the integral of p of x dx q of x with respect to x. And as we said, our integrating factor was equal to y. This could simplify to i y is equal to the integral of i q with respect to x. 
And so that's why this integrating factor is so useful. And so now let's take a look at using this integrating factor to answer a question, okay? And so we're gonna be answering this one here. So we need to find the general solution to the differential equation, dy by dx minus three y is equal to e to the power of four x. And so in this example, like I said earlier, we've got our function p of x equals to negative three and our function q of x equaling e to the power of four x. So let's calculate the integrating factor first. So we're gonna calculate our function i of x, which is equal to e to the integral of p of x, so e to the integral of negative three with respect to x, which just gives us e to the power of negative three x, okay? And we don't need to worry about the constant of integration of this integral at this point, uh, because we'll deal with the constants at the end, right? So um, we've got the integrating factor is e to the power of negative three x, Okay, so now let's think, what did the integrating factor tell us to do? Well, it said to multiply everything in our differential equation by this integrating factor. And if we did, okay, that would be equal to the derivative d by dx of the integrating factor, so e to the power of negative 3x, multiplied by y. Okay, and that's going to be equal to the integrating factor multiplied by e to the power of 4x. And if you wanted to check this, okay, you could take the derivative, so d by dx, of this e to the power of negative 3x multiplied by y. And if you worked it out, you would get that it would be equal to the left-hand side of this differential equation, where every term is multiplied by e to the power of negative 3x, okay? And you can check that for yourself. So now we're gonna integrate both sides, and if we do, we get e to the power of negative 3xy is equal to the integral of, well, what is e to the power of negative 3x multiplied by e to the power of 4x, was well, just equal to e to the power of x with respect to x. So calculating that integral, we get e to the power of negative three x y is equal to e to the power of x plus our constant of integration c. And then finally, multiplying both sides of this equation by e to the power of negative three x, okay, we get that y is equal to what e to the power of four x plus c e to the power of three x. And that's the general solution to this differential equation. So hopefully this video was useful. If it was, like, subscribe, and share, and go over to my channel for tons more math tutorials. Thanks for watching.